Hello, this is Matt with Modern School Bus, and in this video, I am going to show you a new Google Sheets feature that uses AI that you can use to quickly create custom templates in your spreadsheet. So in my last video, I covered how you can use tools like ChatGPT or Google's Bard with Google Sheets. In this video, we are going to cover how you can generate templates with AI that is built into Google Sheets directly. So this is a beta release right now and it's not available in every country yet, but by the time you are watching this, it could be fully released and there could be a lot more features. So to access this tool, what you need to do is come to the top left of your screen and select this button that says, help me organize. And this will open up the tool that allows you to create your custom template. Now, if you don't see this button, what you need to do is come to labs.google and you need to join the wait list for the beta release. So what you want to do is scroll down to this section that says unlock new ways of working with AI. And what you're going to do is join the wait list. Now mine allowed me through immediately. I don't know if there's a wait time or not, but if it does allow you access, you will see this message that says success you are in. And then when you go back to Google Sheets, you should see the button. So to use this, what you want to do is enter your prompt into this box. So what you are going to ask it to do is to create any kind of template that you want. And usually the more information that you provide, the better. So what I'm going to do is create a list of household chores with clickable check boxes. I'm just going to create a basic chore template. And usually this creates it pretty quick. Sometimes you do have to wait a few seconds. Okay, I'm going to pause the lesson really quick and let you know about my free course. If you are a beginner at Excel or Google Sheets, I have a free course with the nine most fundamental lessons that you need to master. Click the link in the description of the video to get the course now. And so now it has finished creating. So you can select insert if you want to insert this or if you wanted to edit anything, you can also edit your prompt and hit create again. I like the way this looks, so I'm just going to select insert. And now from here, if I want to edit this, I can, but this is exactly what I asked it to create a list of household chores with clickable checkboxes. So that is just one easy example of how you could use this. Let's create another template just so you can get some ideas of how you might use this. So in this one, I'm going to ask it to create me a timesheet for let's say four employees where I can track start times and end times. So create a timesheet where I can enter start times and end times for four employees. And let's just see what it comes up with. Again, the more specific your prompt, the better your result is going to be. But this one has created it, so I'm just going to select insert. And this is pretty much exactly what I envision. So I have a section where I can enter four employees' names, their start time, end time, the total hours, and then notes. So this is a great starting point for a template. So I'm pretty happy with the way this one came out. So I'm just going to enter that here. Create me an attendance tracker where I can track a person's attendance over a, let's say, 10 day period. Let's just see what it comes up with and whether this is what we want. So this looks okay. I'm going to select insert. Um, I want to add to a new sheet instead of overwriting my previous template. So it looks like it has dates, so 10 days. It also includes day of the week, which is useful. And then I can mark whether they are present or this would be an instance where I might edit this and also add an option for absent. But it also included a section for reason assuming if they are absent, you can enter a reason as well as notes. So this is a pretty useful starting place. Again, I'm pretty impressed with what this came up with. And this tool is definitely going to get better with time. It's still in the beta, so I'm sure they're adding a lot more features. But 
that is it for this video. I just wanted to cover a few ideas of how you could use this, but ultimately it's going to require a little bit of creativity on your part, depending on what kind of templates you want to create. Now, if you haven't checked out my previous video on how you can use AI with Google Sheets to improve your productivity and learn how to do things you don't know how to do now, make sure to check out that video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm also going to place a link in the description of the video where you can subscribe to my email newsletter to get free updates and lessons sent straight to your email. Let me know if you have any questions or comments.